Okay, I'm going to start off uh, with this screencast by showing you um, the contents of an unzipped C fit folder. So if you downloaded the, uh, the application from cfit.com, you will unzip it, and then you will find these files. And so what we're going to start with is the uh, executable. You just double click that. Uh, some windows will pop up. If this doesn't look the same on yours, um, you can hit reset. That's going to be uh, possibly one of your best allies with this program is reset. And if anything goes wrong, you can hit reset and it'll just start again. It'll start up the uh, surface volume command window, the open gel window again, and just kind of uh, start from scratch. So it's a very useful, uh, useful button. So quit and restart Evolver. So the first um, FD file that will open up will be cube.fe. An FD file basically um, outlines the geometry, um, the model, the constraints, and so forth. And you can find more details of that in the uh, Surface Evolver manual. Um, also, there may be some examples in the CFIT manual. But uh, starting with the Surface Evolver manual and understanding how to create these files um, would be useful. So, built in the CFIT is this. Um, text editor and what we can do is we can open up that cube.fe file and we can see how it's defined so we can see that it's defined by vertices, number of vertices, edges, faces, um, bodies and we can read in some uh, some particular commands again if you read the service folder manual you'll understand what these commands mean and so this is what we have so there are no constraints here and we just have a box so what Surface Evolver generally does is it seeks a minimal total energy. Um, and that energy can be composed of surface energy or potential energy or different types of energy that you define. Um, but in this case, uh, we're going to be dealing with uh, surface energy. So if we go back to the utility, say for example, we have different variables defined. Depending on how you set up your FE file, you'll have some parameters that you can change directly in C fit here. For now, we just have this cube, and what we'll go to first is solve and convergence run setup. So this is built in C fit, and you'll see that we have a maximal edge length that we can specify, we have a computation tolerance that we can specify, and a number of other things that we'll discuss in some other screencast. But right here is really all you need to know at this point. So the computation tolerance and the maximal edge length, and we'll just keep them as they are, and we'll hit run. What we see is that the computation automatically runs and refines and this is built into CFIT. This isn't an um, automatic feature of Surface Evolver but you see that it calculated the minimal surface which is a sphere um, and just surface energy is involved. So we can refine that more and we can hit the uh, play button, convergence run and it can continue. Since we have so many uh, nodes here it will take a little bit of time and that time will also depend on the convergence tolerance that we set up previously. But as it's com computing, it's also um, outputting several of the files, which are um, called DMP files, which is essentially the same as an FE file, but DMP files are dump files, which are um, written as a computation progresses. So here we go. It's done computing. Now, if we want to go back and roughen, you can hit roughen a couple, a couple times. Now we have a rough. Uh, mesh, and we can hit play again, and we can run the computation a lot more quickly. And so that's the first example with just a, uh, a cube um, with no fixed constraints. Now we can pull up and say a mound example. So a mound, we just have this liquid on a surface. And so we can go and look at the utility, and it'll show us the different parameters. And uh, there's model, angle, bond number. The bond number is going to be of interest to us. Uh, and we'll update these just to make sure yeah, we have the latest and so what we can do is we can use the same convergence run setup that we had before and just hit uh, play convergence run and we can see that it calculated the surface and it's pretty rough so we can hit refine, refine and hit convergence run again and it cleaned up a little bit so go back to the utility and the bond number that we're dealing with is zero the angle, the contact angle, so this is a wetting property is 70 degrees. Well, we can change that. We can change it to 20. 
So if we update that and then hit run, you can see that it spreads. Um, and we'll let that complete. We'll go back to the utility and we can change it to, say, 80. Update that, hit play. And now, we'll compute a new surface with an 80 degree contact angle. We can find that, hit play. And for this particular file, this FE file, this model, we only have the uh, surface um, constraint. And you can look at all of these FE files and look at how they're built and uh, modify them and make your own. So that's the noun. And what we can also do is we can export this as a STL. Okay? So if we do that, and I'll save it in STL work, and I'll just overwrite this previous one. And save. Now we can open that up. We can double click and we'll just wait for a program to open up. And in this case, I'm using SolidWorks. Let that do its thing. There we go. And that will open up in a sec. So while we're waiting, we can also play with uh, another file. Let's look at the pen and drop. So this is a drop that's hanging. And it's very similar to the noun. It just changes the uh, gravitational uh, parameters, um, specifically the bond number. So bar number is 3, angle 70, just like before, and we can hit play, and we can see, okay, similar, similar idea. Um, we can change um, that to, say, 3D. Play, again, similar response, but this time, they drop it left. And so in this case, it's unstable at a contact angle of 80 degrees with the particular bar number of 3. So we can stop the computation, it's going to reset, and open up the command window. And so what you saw there is that we can mon we can change parameters very quickly and see what happens. Now to refine this, refine this, run it. You can see for 70, it looks stable. When you do a real convergence run um, with uh, trying to find a very accurate surface, you'll want to do this a little bit differently, but we'll talk about that in a different video. But here we can change the bond number to say 3.5 at a contact angle of 70, update that, and then you can see if it's stable. In that case, it's not stable. So again, we can stop, reset, and open the command window again. And so what you're going to find is you can quickly change these, but in Surf and in CFIT, we have built in um, what's called a See where it is. Parameter parametric sweep function. That parametric sweep function allows you to step through all of these and see if it can detect when things are unstable or not. And it can output, you know, a variety of bond numbers, a variety of surfaces for which it's stable, and you can actually map these out, figure out um, solutions to your problem if it has to do with those parameters. So let's pull up the solve works. Let's don't ask me again, no. And so we can see that we can look at this surface and output the surface of that um, liquid configuration. And we could also import this uh, back into CFIT. But for now, I'll just show you the export. And there you go. And so if you have complex geometries, you can also export those. Um, you can see that it's faceted because it outputs the actual mesh. So if you want something really fine, um, you can increase the mesh density. You could also output this to a CFD program uh, for initial condition or uh, just defining a particular shape for, say, um, solder or for uh, bubbles in uh, flow or whatever it may be. So I'll go ahead and close out of that. And so we can go back to CFIT. And let's look at another example. Uh, we'll look at uh, this particular case. That case. And so what this is kind of modeling is a droplet on a, say, a leaf or a um, corner bound drop. And we can change a variety of parameters, um, the corner half angle, the contact angle, the G angle psi, G angle phi, these are gravitational parameters. So initially we can just hit run, see what happens. And so the droplet kind of spreads a little bit on the surface. We're done. We're going to find the find. Play, you can find that 
you can see that it kind of hangs over the edge. And what you'll find, depending on the angle, uh, the contact angle, the corner angle, the wetting properties, etc., that there are different um, stability limits uh, based on gravi gravity or volume or whatever it may be. And in this case, it looks like this initial configuration is unstable and it will eventually move off um, the surface. And so we could have used the uh, parametric sweep function and ran through lots of different angles or lots of different uh, contact angles or um, corner angles or gravitational configurations and then plotted them out um, later. So we'll stop, get reset, and with that, I think I'll end this screencast and hopefully uh, you have a little bit better familiar familiarity with uh, what CFIT can do. So I'll um, see you next time.